Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to talk about how to write a slope intercept form of an equation of a given line on the coordinate plane. So, uh, we are going to find the slope of the given equation, find the y intercept, and then based on those two numbers, we are going to write, we are going to type our equation in the box provided over here. So, the assignment we are working on is on IXL S8. Uh, it's about writing slope intercept form given a graph. Okay, so the two numbers we need is given in the name of this form. The first one is the slope, the second one is the intercept. The intercept is going to be the y intercept, not the x intercept. So let's just write those two numbers. M stands for the slope and B stands for the y-intercept and then many of you are familiar with this form y equals mx plus b is called the slope intercept form that's what we're gonna do so to find the slope if you remember this from last week we pick two points on the coordinate plane right here we have one point and then another one over here you could also pick any other two points as long as they're on the line, as long as you see their coordinates, you're fine. So, and then you count the rise and run. So the rise from this negative 80 to the other point is, it goes by tens by the way, the coordinate plane, each grid is 10 units, up 10, up 20, up 30. So if we are going up, the sign is going to be positive. And then, from where we stopped to the second point, we need to go right 10 units. If it is right, it's positive. So the slope is 30 over 10. A simple math tells us that the answer for the slope is going to be 3. So for the y-intercept, you locate the y-axis. It's over here. That's the y-axis. And then C the point of intersection of the line and that intercept. They meet at negative 80 over here. I will clear that mess up so you can see what it is. Okay, the line and the y-intercept meets at this point right here. So that means the y-intercept over the b is negative 80. Now all you have to do is plugging these two numbers in over here into the formula so the equation is going to be y equals mx or that's my m value 3x plus the b value b is negative 80 please don't type this whole thing over here in the box in the bottom because this can be simplified plus and minus next to each other the answer the final answer is going to be 3x minus 80 so y equals 3x minus 80 would be what we need to type in that box and then submit our answer. Okay, let's check the next question. If we skip one level up, okay, it looks pretty much the same. I'm going to try to find a question with a negative slope. That's why I'm going back and forth. I'll try after this one one more time. If not, I'm going to solve that question. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any negative slope. Okay, just for the reference, uh, if you have a line that looks like this, that's going to be a negative slope. So, when you find the M value, the final answer for the M should be a negative number if you have a line that goes down from left to right. So all of the, uh, so far, I skipped like eight questions, I guess. And all of them had a line that goes up from left to right, which means the slope is going to be positive for these ones. So let's find a slope and find a y-intercept. And then we will plug those two into the form slope intercept, which is mx plus b. Okay, so the slope, just pick two points, like this one here and that one here. If you go, and each grid is one unit, by the way, you can count and see that, that one. So from the point on the left to the one on the right, if you go up one, up means positive, and right one, and right means positive, 
1 over 1 equals to 1. So the slope equals to 1 and the y-intercept equals to right here. Uh, negative 2, 4, 6, 8. No, negative 7. Okay. Don't let the figure fool you guys. Just count the points and numbers. Uh, so the y-intercept is going to be negative 7. Uh, the slope-intercept form, in this case, y equals mx plus b, is going to turn into y equals 1x, or just x, plus negative 7, or just negative 7. So that would be my final answer for this question. Okay, I want to do one more example, just in case. I will get back. Because I don't think there's going to be any other level. Yeah, yeah, there's no other level higher than this one here. Okay, let's just do this one. Uh, okay, the y-intercept is simple. It's the y-intercept is at negative 8. Let's find the slope. The slope is going to be m equals bd the fraction for rise over run. Let's say the purple point is my first point. This right here is my second. So if I go up 1, 2, 3, up is positive, and right 1, I will end up on the other line. So 3 over 1 equals to 3. The slope is 3, the y-intercept is negative 8. So I can write my slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So it turns into y equals m value is 3 times x plus negative 8 is the same as minus 8. So that would be my final answer for this question. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you think the video helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And that way you can get notifications whenever I share another video for your homework assignments. Thanks again, and I will see you in another video.